Hey YouTube, Tech for Time here, and in this video today, I will be showing you how to remove the full stop button and any other buttons alongside your spacebar on your keyboard. You can use this method to customize your keyboard to any any way you want, but the main one that most of you will probably be here for is to remove the full stop. So a lot of you might be getting a problem like this where you are getting a full stop instead of a space where you want and you always have to keep going back through your message and correcting it which is a, such a pain. So the method I've found to remove this full stop from the keyboard is to download an app called Smart Keyboard Pro. This app does cost money however but if you want you can get this app for free using methods which I have shown in previous videos before. Click the annotation here on the screen now if you want to figure out how to get this app for free. And if you want a mobile device, just go to the link in the description. So anyways, once you've downloaded this app, you will get an icon on your application screen. And go ahead and click into that. It will then give you a couple of instructions on how to get this keyboard up and running. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how to do it. Just click in settings in the bottom of the screen. Then select Smart Keyboard Pro under your text settings. Then go back up, click OK. Go back up to select Input Method and choose Smart Keyboard Pro. And then that's that done. So then underneath here you have Smart Keyboard Pro settings. Go ahead and click into that. And here are a lot of different settings on how to customize a keyboard to how you want to. But to get rid of the main things on the keyboard, go to General Settings. Scroll down to the very bottom and here you then see hide period, hide comma and different things like that. So go to your keyboard and see which are the ones which annoy the most. And for me it is this full stop at the bottom and also that mic. So back in Smart Keyboard Pro I am going to hide period which is full stop. And when you see when I go back to the keyboard the full stop is gone. So now I'm not going to hit that anymore. But if there are other things that you hit, like return or the mic, which you know, you, you can also remove them through this. Like the button under it says hide comma, but if you read it, it says hide the comma or mic, key to enlarge the spacebar. So if I choose that, check again, and the spacebar, it goes across the whole screen, bar those two options. So I'm not going to hit the mic or the full stop button anymore. So that's pretty much the easiest way I've found to remove that full stop and any other buttons there and this app works perfectly in doing that so this is the easiest method I've found in removing the full stop and any other annoying things that you find on your keyboard so this smart keyboard pro app seems to be the best option this app is not only just good for removing the full stop and mic you can also do a lot of different things in it for instance key height you can make the keys a lot larger so right now the keys are a lot larger to the screen if you are not great at pressing them and there are also a ton of preloaded skins and themes that this keyboard has that you can try out and customize to your liking and it gives you a live preview of all the different ones and even an iPhone skin so along with the things that this can already do you can flick through the settings yourself to find loads of different things that you might like to use to customize the keyboard to your liking. Well anyways, that is how you can remove your full stop and whatever you want to make your spacebar larger for ease of typing. If you like this video, remember to leave a thumbs up. Comment if you have any other questions or need any other tips within this app. And remember to be subscribed if you're not already.